Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, before us here today is a Cambridge uh, entrance examination question that we're going to look at. If you are ready, please let's get started. So here we have, um, we are asked to find the non-zero solution to this particular question. Okay, so to get started, we have the question here, two to the power of nine to the power of x divided by eight to the power of three then to the power of x equal to one over four. What will be the value of x? So we have a solution. So um, from here we have two to the power of nine, then nine to the power of x divided by eight to the power of three, then three to the power of x equal to one over four. So what we are going to do is um, I'm going to attempt to express the denominator of the left-hand side in base 2 as well. So we have 2 to the power of 9, then 9 to the power of x, divided by 2 to the power of 3. 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3, then all to the power of, uh, uh, then multiply by 3 to the power of x. Okay, equal to 1 over 4. So from here now, I'm going to apply this rule that if I have a to the power of m all over a to the power of n, this will mean a to the power of m minus n. So I will apply this law to the left-hand side. And so the equation becomes 2 to the power of 9 to the power of x minus minus 3 times 3 to the power of x equal to 1 over 4. I'm also going to go ahead and look at the right hand, the right hand side. Now, you know that if we have um, 1 over a in index form, this is the same thing as a to the power of minus 1. So if I have, if we are given 1 over a to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of minus n. So when you have a fractional index, okay, when you have index as a fraction, then what it means is that the, the index of the base will take a negative power and then the one will no longer be there. So when you have this, it should be written in this form. So I'm going to apply these two uh, scenarios to the right hand side. Uh, but before I go on to do that, I will need to first rewrite the equation in this form. 2 to the power of 9, then 9 to the power of x minus 3 times 3 to the power of x equal to, so I'm going to rewrite the, the right hand side as 4 to the power of minus 1, and then I'll go ahead and write 4 as uh, a base 2 uh, index. So we have 2 to the power of 9 to the power of x minus 3 times 3 to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of minus 2. So you can see now that both sides now are in base 2. So I will go ahead and cancel the two on both sides. Okay, so, and that will give me 9 to the power of x minus 3 times 3 to the power of x equal to minus 2. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead now and also um, I will attempt to simplify the left-hand side so that we have base 3 uh, for the left-hand side. So we are, what we are going to have now will be 3 to the power of 2 times x minus 3 times 3 to the power of x equal to minus 2. At that end, we have that. From here, we are going to have, um, I'm going to rewrite this to give me 3 to the power of x to the power of 2 minus 3 times 3 to the power of x um, equal to minus 2. So I would say let m equal to 3 to the power of x. So we make a substitution right there. And this is to uh, simplify the process of uh, that will lead us to the uh, final result. So we have this. Um, so if m uh, equal to 3 to the power of x, so this equation becomes m squared minus 3m equal to minus 2. And then we transform this into a, uh, to a quadratic uh, equation. So we have m squared minus 3m 
plus 2 equal to 0. Now, I want to see if this is, uh, if this quadratic equation can be factorized. Let's see if it can be factorized. So, we have that this is comparable to the standard quadratic uh, equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, where a will give us 1, b will be equal to minus 3, and then c will be equal to 2. So we are going to see if this is factored. And the condition for this equation to have uh, linear factors will be that b squared minus 4ac will be greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so let's uh, let's simplify and see if we if this uh, quadratic can be factored. Okay, so we have uh, b is minus 3, uh, minus 3 squared, minus 4 times 1 times uh, 2 greater than or equal to 0. This is 9 minus 8 greater than or equal to 0. Okay, and so uh, 1 is greater than or equal to 0. So it means that, um, that means we can factor this um, quadratic. So let me bring that over here. We have m squared minus 3m plus 2 equal to 0. So we can factor this. Uh, this will be equal to 0. So how do we factor this? Since we have minus 3m here, so we have m, m, okay. Uh, so this is going to give me minus, minus 2, minus 1. Okay, minus 2, minus 1. How I got minus 2, minus 1 is to look at two numbers that will give us a sum of minus 3m and a product of uh, two numbers that will give us a sum of minus 3 and the product will be uh, plus 2. And those two numbers are minus 2 and minus 1. So from here we have that m minus 2 equal to 0 or m minus 1 equal to 0. So we have m equal to 2 or m equal to 1. Don't forget that what we are looking for is not n. Our goal here is to find the value of x. And already we've said from here that m should be equal to 3 to the power of x. So when we look at the first case, when m equal to 2, we have that 3 to the power of x will be equal to uh, 2. And to solve this, we use log reading. So we take log of both sides. Log, to the, log, 3, to, uh, log 3 to the power of x equal to log 2. And then here we have x log 3 equal to log of 2. So we divide both sides by log 3. So x will give me log 2 over log 3. Applying change of base, we will get um, log 2 to base 3. So therefore we have x. So x will give me, from here we have that x will be equal to log 2 to base 3. So that is the first value. Then the second value will be when m equal to 1. So we have 3 to the power of x equal to 1. And then in index form, 3 to the power of x equal to 1 will give us 3 to the power of x equal to 3 to the power of 0. And so from here we have x to the power of x to be equal to 0. So, originally the question asks for the non-zero solution. So, from what we have, the non-zero solution, the non-zero solution will be um, x will be equal to log 2 to base 3. There we have it, guys. Kindly subscribe to my channel, comment, share, and a like. I will see you in my next video. Thank you.